Welcome to <clears throat> Project Cars 2. The career continues in Formula Renault 3.5 round 6, uh, Hockenheim National Truck. So close to finishing that uh, the Tier 4 championship and moving to, to another one in the open wheel career. Uh, let's uh, let's move on. So practice, a one hour practice. We want, um, well, I'm not going to need all of it. Just a few minutes just to get into the pace of that car on the track. Qualifying 10 minutes, uh, 15 minutes and 20 laps race. Let's look into the AI settings. Uh, this time we're going to move the opponent skill level all the way to the maximum 120 pro. Uh, aggressiveness stays at 70. <clears throat> I explain many times why it's uh, that settings. So let's save those. Let's move to the practice. Oh, I still need to run my uh, dashboard on the second monitor. I don't have any special setup, uh, mostly for fuel and a bit of tires uh, adjustment. Okay, everything's ready. See if we can uh, if we can fight with the AI set 120 on this track. Starting with really cold tires, 35 degrees Celsius. It is a priority to get the stem tires to the good working temperatures of around 80 degrees, 80 degrees plus. The only problem there is uh, on this track is the rear left, uh, sorry, front left. This tire is going to overheat. Well, depending on the truck temperatures, but at the moment we're running at 36 degrees surface temperature. That's really hot. Left front is already above 70 degrees, while the other, the other three are still cold. Still struggling for grip a little bit. Especially on the rear axle.
actually, I don't know if I <coughs> set my weaver proper. No, it's not. I'm running a, a wrong profile on my wheel, not for Project Cars 2. I need to adjust it as soon as there will be some chance to do it. Okay, now it should be... Oh. Unfortunately, playing with the wheel settings. Didn't help with that corner. Should be better now. I'm not sure about my brake. Yep, yeah. I'll just it further. There are no long straights on this track, so it's really hard to find them good moment to adjust anything on the wheel. I was looking the wheels. Front left was flooded 116 degrees Celsius. Super hot. Show some red. I'm really curious how this is going to influence the wear on the left tire. 20 laps. That temperatures can be quite hard. Okay, I think I found the right base for the car. Q1 at the moment.
is lap seven of that uh, practice session and the uh, left front is already 16% down. It's going to be a really hard race for this left uh, front tire. We got that, we'll go. car to the pit and move to the quali for a quick 15 minute qualification session. Eight limiter, don't want to have any surprises in form of a penalty. One minute 13 seconds point 86. me a slight advantage of uh, two tenths of a second. The difference is I believe that AI is uh, using a qualification set, at least they, they cannot do too many laps, they go back to pit after like three four laps. I was running a race level of fuel, um, 75 liters if I remember correctly. Okay, let's, uh, let's skip to end. And let's continue to qualifying. Let's load the less fuel set. Oh, it's raining. That changes everything. I wasn't prepared for that. Um, need to change the tires towards. That complicates everything. Um, let's see. I'm curious what kind of weather we can expect for the race itself, uh, but let's try to do a time on this in these wet conditions. Okay, so we can see we have our wet fellow tires.
Here we go, flying lab in wet conditions. Not sure about the braking points. The practice was in dry, so everything changes in, in rain. A bit wide here. A nice closely to the apex. bit too wide in the last corner, 1 minute and 17 seconds point two. At the moment I'm 13. Four thousands of a second slower than my previous run. Slight improvement, P10 at the moment. Try to save some fuel. Or actually, Roger that. Hit now. We'll be ready when you are. P13. That doesn't look too good. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Uh, <coughs> oh, it's not looking good. Didn't expect that rain. Didn't prepare for it. Grid penalty. Really? I speed it? I was in the limiter. How many... I'm going to restart this session. I'll use it as a practice. Let's try again. Everything went, uh, went wrong here. Quite cold as well. 16 degrees ambient, 25 truck. So remember, take it easy on these tires. Get some heat in.
I think that is my teammate there in front of me. Get ready to push on. Faster on the previous map, but doesn't change anything. I'm still to ten. Much, much slower than the slab.
That's way way too slow. Uh, P13 with 16.9 when 16.4 is the best time. It's not a big difference. Uh, let's try to give myself a bit more downforce. Um, rain. I could play with the suspension, but to be honest, I'm not even sure how to approach it. Um, so I'm just going to keep it as this and, and try again. We still have seven minutes. I felt like I was missing grip on the front axle. So hopefully a bit more aero will help to solve that issue. We'll see. The exit of the corner was the issue, not really the entry. Not showing me the delta here. So I have no idea if I'm driving fast enough or not. What an asshole. He's on his outlap, much slower. Very unlucky. Hitting that uh, outside curb is a killer because it sucks you in and uh, there's nothing you can do about this. And this is, uh, that means that you will have a really bad entry to the last corner. What the hell are they doing? This is so annoying. Uh, how much time I have? Four minutes. That felt like I had a really good run there.
Hopefully I will get a clean run on the next lap. No AI cars in front of me. Fighting for a grip there while accelerating still doesn't show me a bit slower. It's going to be P13. I'm, on, I'm not going to do anything else here. Uh, they messed up my laps. I can't try one last time, but I'm very unlucky with AI. Uh, it seems like they were that guy was again on his uh, slow lap. Either probably uh, he was going to the pit. They really slow down there, but they don't go off offline. They still stay on a, on the best best line. There should be a penalty for that normally in motorsport, and there is actually, but not in this game. I have one more chance to see if I can do anything about it. The problem is that I won't be able to warm up tires. This guy's going slow, hopefully he's going to pit. I have 53 seconds across the line. He's not going to pit. Wow, okay, he was going he was going really slow for someone who doesn't go. He's not going to pit. Okay, let's see what we can do. Much, much slower in the first sector, unfortunately. I'm not sure why I'm catching. That compromised that lap, definitely. I won't be able, able to extract anything out of this. I was really, really unlucky with traffic uh, and I couldn't do anything about this, so let's continue to race. You're let's see. Down on the leader. Okay, so we have a rain in that race. Um, starting position is horrible, 13th. Um, 20 laps in rain. I'm going to prepare some kind of strategy. Um, Forecast is also rain, so nothing will be changing here. So we have fuel and tires. Let's have a look at the tires here. Uh, yeah, I guess it can. No, I cannot stay. The front left. I need to rise the pressure a little bit there. Not much. Um, okay, that should be enough. I won't be repairing anything. 
because if I crash here, it's uh, end of the race anyway. So okay, let's load. Let's put more fuel into the car. Um, I don't remember how much fuel this requires. So let's quickly have a look at soft setup and just change it into the wets. Okay, I want more downforce. I felt like that car ran quite le well on the downforce in the quality, though I didn't get a clean lap to extract anything out of the car. Uh, save to the new setup slot so we don't override the soft. Uh, let's call it. But race. The other word is quality, right? So that's all done. Continue. That's saved. Let's race. Hockenheim ring. 20 laps in wet. Setup loaded. Starting position P13. Really bad. And a penalty. Let's restart that. <laughs> AI starts like a rocket ship, composing to me. Going to the inside pretty much wanted to block me. Well, I'm sure AI doesn't want to block me, but it looked like that. Super dangerous situation it was. That was a good fight here for P5. Not really sure how the hell I managed to jump to P6. I know there's a puddle here in this right hander if, uh, if one comes too close to the apex. That corner really slowing it in wet, and AI is super faster in comparison. And here, the speed difference is huge between me and them. Of course, it's 120 difficulty. So they will be quick, but they were slower in dry. Go 
Fast on the entry, compromise my exit of that P1 at P1. I locked the wheels horribly, but they were also slower than usual here in that corner. Very dangerous situation. I cannot carry the same speed they they carrying in these corners, but I have to do my best. I'm much better on braking than they are. I guess that load cell is helping a lot. <laughs> and I'm better in slow speed corners. They started to be faster in this corner, so maybe not this time around. I won't be risking it. I know I cannot carry the same speed they carry here. But here we go, braking and I'm already in front. And I messed up, that's okay. Could have happened to anyone in those conditions. I remember the best step one drivers uh, hitting walls in Fockenheim. In, in wet, in rain. Well, it's uh, lap six. The race isn't over yet. Fighting with the car, fighting for grip. I think. Uh, those rainy conditions uh, cause this uh, truck to be more flooded. I don't want to take unnecessary risk here. Okay. Let's not repeat the mistakes from the previous laps here. I had a very unlucky qualification, I couldn't run a clean lap. The AI was all over the place. Uh, compromising my, uh, my flying laps.
Okay, a bit wide here, but it's okay. Uh, clearly, I cannot do it on the outside. up here big time I want to return safely as close to the left hand side as possible I have a guy on my left on my right I mean whoa he hit me now I couldn't go anymore to the left I was as close to the line as possible on the chicane and still, still hit me he turned like I wasn't there luckily we don't have any damage so we can continue at least I can continue not sure about him but he was guilty though. Oh, he compromised his exit over this corner. Big time. That was an easy pass. Visibility, driving behind other cars sucks. In some sections of the track more than the others. on the gears just to avoid spinning while accelerating oh I hit a few of the cones there I was too close to the left So much better to drive on the P1. The visibility is so much better without any cars throwing water at you while they're in front. Of course, the grip still stays the same, low as hell, but the visibility is a huge advantage. Having it, being able to see to the apex and the braking points correctly, that's a huge advantage. Still can believe that I'm on P1, starting P13.
already bulled for a second uh, advantage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A bit too slow here. That was too slow. That's why I went so uh, deep into that corner. Oh, there is some wind as well, in addition to, to the rain. Uh, ten laps to go. It's uh, we have through the race. The left front tire is 27% uh, gone already. It's a lot. continues like that, that tire would be more than 50% gone by the end of this race, wow. I'm losing a second to my best lap at the moment in the first sector alone. The conditions are definitely worse than they were in the start of the race. I locked the wheels terribly there. That could have that could have finished in the gravel. But I reacted quite quickly with uh, releasing the braking pedal and uh, allowing the wheels to regain the grip. all over the place and acceleration luckily so far it was a clean race no spins no dangerous situations Unfortunately, I know that the AI is now well behind, it's 10 seconds, but I cannot increase the difficulty anymore, it's, it's maximum.
14 seconds advantage, it's crazy now. I just lap 14 out of 20. Very good consistency, all the laps in 1 minute 22 low, between 22 2 and 22 5 I think. The left front tire is 33% uh, gone, that's lap 15 out of 20. The conditions are staying the same at that stage, it's still raining, the truck is completely floated. There are no many puddles there, at least uh, I was lucky to avoid all of them. So no aquaplaning, the tires are providing enough grip for those conditions. It may look really bad, but it actually feels quite good to drive the car. I think there's a small powder there in the apex to turn one. I know there is a puddle here in that apex, so I'm avoiding that. Avoiding going too close to the apex just to avoid any type of aquaplaning, especially in the corner that would usually mean spin. And you know, the spin is the last thing I want at this stage. This lap was also 1 minute 22, 0.34, the one before was 0.4 and the one before that was 0.29, so the consistency is really good, it's there. That was a little bit of a dangerous situation, I had to try to save this car, but even though it's still 1 minute 22.379, so again, within the same range lap after lap. Four more laps to go. Oh, there's a puddle there, but well, exactly in the moment where I start braking, that means that if it gets bigger in the last few laps, it may be a bit easier to lock the wheels there. Something to keep in mind. 
Okay, I have to start avoiding the apex in the last corner. Uh, there is a puddle there as well. That was another 1 minute 22.346. Looks like I was struggling for grip uh, this time around. Because I was struggling for grip, I had a compromised exit of that corner, lower speed, and I could brake a bit later to the next corner. Nothing changes here. I'm going a bit slower this time around. Yeah, we can definitely hear uh, a big puddle there at the breaking point. And now I have to remember to avoid that apex here, so we go a bit wider. Just to be safe. And that was 1 minute 23, so a second slower than last time. But the conditions are getting worse now. Uh, there is more and more puddles appearing on the truck. It's too much water for it to disappear. And actually it starts to accumulate. But we have just two laps to go with a minute advantage, that's crazy. The front left tire is now yellow, 61% ready, so almost 40% gone. And I can feel that now as well. And all those right handers, it's harder and harder to keep the truck on, uh, on track, uh, sorry, the car on track. Just deliver that car to the finish line, take the win and finish the season. Oh no, there is one more race. Oh, what am I thinking about? There is round, this is round six, six out of seven. Go to the first gear now because I'm really struggling for grip here in that corner now. The car doesn't want to turn anymore. The left front is yellow. And it doesn't provide the grip it was providing through the race when it was still green. The other three tires are actually quite good. That truck is really, really heavy on that left front tire. But at that stage it doesn't matter because we are in the last few corners. Two more, two right handers before we'll see the checker flag. Here we go, checker flag. And it's a win. And it's super surprising win because I really didn't expect that. Starting from P13, nothing in those qualifications was telling me that I'm going to finish so high. I have just noticed that I have some kind of uh, aero damage and left front suspension damage. That's quite interesting. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't remember having any type of contact. Uh, it's 12, it's 18% of the front aero and it's 5% uh, of the left front uh, suspension. Maybe that's why this tire was also wearing so quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's deliver the car to the pit 
and finish that race. It was uh, it was surprising win, but I really really enjoyed the race. Those conditions uh, were great, fun fun drive. No helps, highest difficulty level 120. That race required 101% of concentration. And at the beginning didn't look that good, the AI seemed to be really quick, but the more the conditions deteriorated, uh, the more they slowed down. Let's park the car in our pit box and let's have a quick look at the results. I think my pit box is at the end. Yeah, I can see it already. Fantastic. Here we go. You nailed it today. Brilliant driving. Let's have a look. So, uh, advantage is huge, but you know, there's nothing I can do about this. They were just super slow, even though the difficulty was maxed out. Uh, 38 seconds. Where is was where is my teammate? I cannot see him here, uh, and I cannot move it with this wheel. I would need a controller. Anyway, I know I didn't have a fastest lap. The fastest lap was 1 minute 19, 898. What was my fastest lap? I can see it here on my. So my fastest lap was 1 minute 19, 960. So 62 thousand of a second slower than the fastest lap of the race. I think. Ah, okay, it was very competitive then. Very competitive, nice. I was the fastest though, I had the fastest sector one though. Uh, I knew I was fastest there. Cool. That's the overall standing. I have a huge advantage now at that stage. It's an easy championship win in tier four. Uh, Perfect. What's the last race? This is the last thing I'm going to check. So, the last race is Barcelona, if I can see. And it's the national version of the circuit, a bit shorter one. I'm sure that's going to be cool. Great, perfect. I'll be finishing now. So, thank you all for watching uh, and have a great, great uh, day. See you next time.